Hey girlfriends, welcome back to the channel for another video this week. If you're new here, my name is Jerenica Mycia, but all my friends call me G. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for coming back this week and clicking on my face. And if you haven't already, girl, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, like, share, comment, subscribe. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram for all of my fabulous updates and come back each week for weekly uploads, girl. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a bag that I purchased for myself for my birthday. Um, if you've been here a while, you know I've been talking talking so much about the Prada backpack. I actually needed a backpack in my um, collection. I don't have any backpacks. Yeah, I don't have any backpacks. And I knew I wanted this backpack, but I was very particular about the one I wanted. Right now, if you go to Prada, they have, I'm gonna put it on the screen, they have this backpack. It is pretty much like the vintage version, but on this one, you can get, I believe, silver or gold hardware and it also comes with a pouch now the pouch is very awkward to me it sits on the front of the bag you can unhook it but I don't like the fact that if you unhook it it still has this little toggle thing sticking out it just I feel like it takes away from the classic look of the Prada backpack so I've always wanted the Prada backpack but I wanted the vintage version of it um I don't know if you guys ever I'm sure you should have watched the parent trap when it went on the the trip with Meredith Blake and their dad and Meredith Blake had um the Prada backpack when I saw that backpack I was like oh my god this is so cute and I remember saying this when I was a kid but I remember wanting the backpack because it had like the two pockets and it, it was just so cute to me okay so I was very particular about the bag that I wanted so I could not find the vintage version of this bag anywhere in great condition. Now you can find this bag, the vintage version, m many places, but the quality is just not there. They look very run down, they look old and they look used. And to me that's just defeating the purpose. Anytime I'm buying a used bag, you still want to, the bag to have life so you can get use out of the bag. And all of the bags I was coming across, they just they were done girl and for the price i was just like no ma'am now last week i went to new york and right before i went to new york if you haven't watched my new york vlog i'm gonna link it above it's real cute you need to go ahead and watch it get you it, it gives life okay but i went to new york and right before i went to new york i was scrolling on the web looking for the bag and i couldn't still wasn't finding nothing worth my while so i was like you know what i'm gonna just bite the bullet and once i go to new york i was gonna go ahead and buy the prada backpack the newer version although i didn't want want that one i didn't i felt like i wasn't gonna be able to find it um in great condition vintage version version something told me to go to fashion file now i've never looked for this bag on fashion file and as you can see i got it from fashion file so i'm scrolling on fashion file and i'm like oh my god they had it for the price that I was willing to pay. For the vintage version, I was only willing to pay $500. That was it. And I believe I paid $4.95 for this bag. It was like, it, it was like around five. No more than $5.25 I paid for this bag, I believe. I was just head over heels. This bag is in perfect condition. But you know, on Fashion File, they, um, they're gonna tell you all of the things that's wrong with it so the condition may sound horrible but when you get the bag it's like your expectation is like blown you're like oh my god nothing's wrong with this bag and that's exactly how it was i was so surprised but i'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling and show you guys the bag also speaking of fashion file is it me or is pre-love luxury is starting to get pricey okay i don't know about y'all but i've been looking on all the websites and the price increase has definitely been there in the pre-love market and to me it's like girl this is pre-loved why am i paying dang near full price for pre-loved items like i just don't know what's going on but the price increases is not cute especially on fashion style those prices are getting they're climbing and i'm not i, I don't appreciate it i need to speak with management girl but this is the bag. It comes in the Fashion File dust bag. I already unboxed it. I actually took this bag on my trip to New York. And if you watched that vlog, you would have seen me unbox it. So this is the bag. It says it's the medium size, but this is exactly the size I wanted, guys. Look at this bag. It's in great condition to say it is the um, vintage version. The only thing that was wrong, what wrong with the bag was they had like a couple little... Let me see if you can see this. You see that? A couple little fuzzies on the strap, but my um, seamstress, she was like, that's no problem. She had like this razor, 
come back she has this razor with that is gonna just cut that right off nothing else is wrong with this bag and i was just so happy now on the newer version of the bag as you see if you want to adjust it you have to use the buckles a lot of people that may not be their zhuzh but for me i actually like it it's just like it's just the nostalgic for me okay the nostalgia for me i love it on the newer version they have the um i don't know how to what it's called but you can adjust it with the buckle if that makes any sense um so this is the back of the bag it comes with two straps it has this little hook here and i found this very helpful on my trip when i was uh walking if i don't want to carry it on my back i was using it holding it like this it was it, it was still giving a cute little vibe but it, i found that this was very helpful um one thing about the straps now you can wear it sometimes i found myself wearing it on my back as a backpack completely with the two straps this bag is very very slouchy we're going to get into the interior and everything in a minute but this bag bag is very very slouchy which it can become slightly heavy and i found that i wear it just like this with one strap and i just carry it on my side it can get a little heavy on the shoulder if you carry a lot with you i'll say that me i don't usually carry a lot with me but when i was in new york i was traveling i was walking around the city and i was kind of carrying a lot with me not too much but more than usual and it was slightly heavy nothing like crazy but this is a re-nylon bag so it's very very lightweight um by it being re-nylon the bag doesn't have that much structure so what i did was and to get in the bag it has a magnetic close as you can see and it also has a buckle so it's very secure and also if you open up the bag it has a drawstring vibe look oh it's so good girl it's so good now in the inside of the bag i just took this insert I have this insert here Hold on. from my I had this in my Fendi bag and it fits perfect in the backpack now this is the backpack without the insert it's very slouchy if that's your vibe it'll work for you but for me I wanted it to be a little more structured because look it's just very slouchy and it's just I don't know it's just very no, but now see when I put it on, it doesn't look that bad. But for me, the vibe that I was going for, I like it a little more structured. And I also found when I was traveling, using this insert, I picked this up from Amazon years ago. Um, using this insert, if I can, I'm gonna try to link some inserts um in the description box. This helped me. Like getting in and out of this backpack was so easy and flawless because of this. I would literally, hold on, take that. Look at this. On the side, it has pockets. So I will put like my card holder here. Anything that I needed to get in and out of the bag very quick, this insert helped me. And by the inside, I was going to get a black one. But by the inside of the bag being black, and it also has the Prada, the lining, everything on this bag is just gorgeous. It says Prada here. It has the Prada emblem there. But the inside, by the inside of the bag being black and this being like a, I don't know what color is this. I, I got this to match my Fendi bag, which matched perfect. But I like the fact that it's two different colors because it helped me see. I would also like this in red to go inside of the Prada backpack. I think it'd be like perfect. But yeah, it definitely helped me be organized. All right, so now I just put the insert back into the bag. And as you can see, it's way more full and structured. Even if I don't have much in the bag, if I take the, um, right now I have the paper in it, but if I take the paper out, it's, it'll still have its structure. And it just looks, to me, it looks much better. Cause it's already a very slouchy bag. And as you can see, if you put the bag, hold on, let me back you guys up. So this is how I usually wear the backpack, just on one shoulder. And look how lovely that looks with the insert. I love everything about it. I love the Prada little sign right there. It's just very minimum, but it's still like, classic Prada but if I don't hold it like that it still slouches off as you can see now I don't really wear this bag 
put on on two shoulders but i did find myself putting it on two shoulders like when it was right oh my god it's gonna look crazy with this sweatshirt i did put it on my shoulders like this oh, when it was raining and it was actually very comfortable i was so surprised so this is what it looked like with the two straps so cute I love everything about this backpack guys it's very easy to get in and out and if you're just looking for a backpack something simple cute every day can carry everything and this is definitely your girl um to say that this bag is pre-loved you literally cannot tell there's nothing wrong with it and this is exactly the condition I was looking for for. and I'm so happy I got to get the I was able to get the vintage version of the bag and not the newer model even though the newer model has gold hardware I stuck with the silver because it is classic Prada like when I think of the Prada backpack or I think about Prada I literally just think about the silver hardware so this is the bag and these two here they can be open I don't plan on using them so I just right now I like the fact see how they're fluffy and fluffed I right now have it stuffed with this Hermes paper that came in one of my Hermes boxes because it's very soft and supple but it's still like fluffy type of paper if you know what I mean so I just like the bag to have like a little more structure now this bag comes in so many different colors I've seen it in nude it comes in black now if you're into like the older model the vintage style of it I have also seen it in red and blue which is very vibrant and very cute I was thinking about the red but I just don't feel like I need to get the same bag in a different color I'm just like over that um so I left it alone girl but the newer model of this backpack does retail for $13.90 and if you get the pre-loved version of the one here the vintage style it can retail for around six to seven hundred dollars the cheapest I've ever seen was four but I did not like the condition of the bag if you're looking to buy this bag pre-loved I would definitely say look at the condition of the bag do not settle because by this bag being very old I feel like if you buy it already completely destroyed or it doesn't have life in it you're not gonna get that much use out of it you don't want the bag to look worn down and just wool out girl also if you're looking to buy this bag pre-love I would definitely say try fashion file look at fashion file keep watching out because they have a couple left right now I'm gonna go ahead and link them in the description box look at those before you look anywhere else because trust me I have been looking for this bag for months any website and every website I've been on it um I didn't like the ones from Poshmark if we're being honest the real real the prices are crazy and the condition is just girl the worst condition I'm gonna say that even when I went to New York I saw one in the Soho store it was $895 for the vintage one and the condition was horrible it was just it had water stains and everything and another thing for this bag it is like I said re nylon so it's very easy for it to get water stains like and when I say water damage I basically mean anytime I was looking for this bag pre loved it always had water damage and I didn't understand until I saw the one in the Soho store it's basically looked like somebody maybe waste coffee or water or something in the inside and they didn't dry it or whatever but a lot of the pre loved bags had water damage for some reason but this is a bag that you can take a wet cloth and just wipe down that's another reason I went for the Prada backpack instead of any other backpack because I feel like with back backpacks they, they are more like a everyday usage type of bag you're gonna use them constantly so you want something that's easy to take care of and I find myself just taking a wet cloth and just wiping this down easy dry but make sure you using not really a damp damp cloth it needs to be very lightly damp because you don't want to add like any water damage or anything to the bag because like I said the bag they, they were a little weird to have water damage I was very surprised but overall I'm super happy with this purchase I got a lot of requests when I was in New York people asking me do they recommend the Prada backpack they were thinking about getting it honestly this is a 10 out of 10 recommend whether you're getting the newer version or this bag I would recommend it now if we're comparing the newer model to this 
the um vintage one i'm gonna go ahead and put let me move this so i can put both on the screen i actually tried both bags on i have this one and i actually went in store to try on the newer model now do you guys know with the newer model there are some tweaks to it the um straps are longer like the front straps that where the pocket is they're slightly longer they have like a more they, I believe they use the Sefiano leather, which I absolutely love. So they just tweak some of the detailing, but it is literally the same bag. They added the little hook pouch thing on the front. Y'all, it is, it is, it's the same bag. The newer model just have like little tweaks. This bag here, the, um, the straps on the back, they're, they're leather, but they're more of a soft leather. So it can get crease so you're going to see a lot of creasing if you buy the um vintage version version of the bag versus the newer model now that's one thing i do like about the newer model by them using the safiana leather that leather is very substantial so you're not going to see a lot of creasing Th that that was perfect um also on the newer model you can adjust the straps with the adjustable hooks on this bag you have to actually take it out you know go to the next little hole and adjust it manually but it is it, it really goes off your preference if you care or not but the differences are not that yeah big of a deal um if you want to save up a couple more hundred dollars and get the new one, I say go for it. I, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Or if you just want to go ahead and get it pre-loved, definitely you can save some money and still get it for a great price and in great condition if you be patient, girl. Because trust me, I have to be very patient. I started looking at this bag at the beginning of the year and now it's well like seven months later and I'm just now getting it. But it was so worth it. And Fashion File came in a clutch girl so yeah that's pretty much it for this video girl straight simple straight to the point if i didn't answer any questions go ahead and comment down below and ask them i'll try to you know answer anything i didn't answer and also you know comment down below let me know which bag do you prefer which bag do you plan on getting you know because you know everybody has their own vibe and taste a lot of people are not into pre-love luxury although i love me some pre-love luxury like i said girl pre-love luxury is definitely you know increasing in price but we're gonna that's that's a whole nother video girl but anyways girl i'll see you guys in the next video